Okay, thank you very much again. My name is Vanessa. Uh, Today I'm gonna be showing you the uh, definition of load cases, uh, which is the continuity part of so tutorial number uh, 11. Uh, and today we'll continue the tutorial part number uh, 12, which will be focusing on the definition of new load cases regarding it to response spectra and the uh, regarding it to the uh, uh, other uh, necessary load cases so let's proceed uh, before proceeding uh, the, uh, to, to, uh, the today's uh, tutorial if you like my channel don't forget subscribe it and if you like also my videos don't forget uh, uh, sharing to your uh, friends so that your friends will be getting more uh, tutorials uh, which uh, has been prepared uh, for uh, the uh, uh, modeling and uh, analysis as well as designing of this actual story uh, building and uh, uh, don't uh, uh, don't forget also uh, just uh, pressing uh, the bell icon so that you'll uh, be receiving an immediate prepared uh, tutorials. So let's proceed to the today's uh, tutorial, which is the tutorial part uh, twelve. Okay. So here uh, we have already defined the load cases. Sorry. Here we have uh, different uh, types of load cases, such as the variables and the permanent load cases. So uh, I need to define the, uh, the new load cases regarding it to the response spectral analysis. So now let me add new load cases. So here this is say it response spectral. Response spectral in x direction. That means uh, the in x plus direction. Uh, so here this is uh, you know the load case type we make it uh, just a response spectrum because we are going to run the response spectrum analysis for the specified direction and here uh, uh, the, the load applied are uh, in pt here so we need to add new lo uh, the uh, load cases so here uh, the, the first we need to apply uh, u1 which is uh, along the direction of x uh, so the uh, default uh, this is the function that we have already uh, defined in the previous tutorial which is uh, the response spectra which is the, the response spectra and here now the scale factor is 9806.65 so uh, this is the response spectrum which is defined along the positive x direction so now here uh, the modal load case is it is it is modal so the modal combination method is it is complete quadratic equation method uh, uh, so here uh, we have different types of uh, the combination method that is the square root of sum of the square the absolute the gmc and rec in double sum so for the time being we can select the complete quadratic equation method so every nodes will be combined with this method to get the peak or the maximum responses of the structure and also the directional uh, combination type is it is srss that means the square sum of uh, uh, the sum of uh, mm -hmm. The, the square root of sum of the square method. Here we have a, uh, you know, directional combination meaning it does. Here suppose here this is in x direction, I mean in y direction, and this one is in x direction. So uh, the uh, sum of the root, uh, the square root of sum of the square meaning that. Uh, so uh, we can get this is the resultant, which is r and this is uh, what you call a and this is what you call uh, b so which is r which is equal to the a square plus b square under square root that means the uh, the square root of uh, the sum of uh, the squares meaning this one 
So, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Not in the Lord case. Where is the X plus? This is the response spectrum. Lord case. This is the response spectrum. Model C to C SRSS. And here the model dumping uh, is it is five percent, or just we can modify it as you like. This five percent we have already discussed before. The diaphragm centricity for the response spectrum analysis is uh, it is uh, you know it is written zero for all diaphragm, but uh, we need to specify it 0 0.05. That means five percent centricity will be applied on both direction, meaning. Here, suppose this is this is uh, you know the plan of uh, the uh, given structure, and here this is the center of mass, and here uh, we can apply the response spectrum. That means R S in X positive direction. So here uh, the response spectrum uh, load will be applied at some distance. That means at some distance, uh, which is the x in uh, a direction, and this one is also a, a, a x, which is minus a x. So the eccentricity will be considered up to 5%. So this uh, is 5% eccentricity will be applied uh, along the x positive direction. So click uh, OK. And now add a copy of it. So now make it <coughs> the response spectrum in x direction. Add copy of it and the response spectrum along in y direction by positive direction and make it that means in u direction. So click OK. Add copy of it. So along y direction, which is in negative way. So make it so we have already defined the response spectrum plot cases. That means response spectrum in x positive, in x negative, in y positive, and in y negative. So uh, now click OK. Here uh, the load cases of the response spectrum. Load cases for the lateral uh, uh, static load cases, and as well as the variables and the permanent load cases are defined. So, uh, uh, now uh, the, uh, uh, we are going to also uh, combine to just uh, load this uh, uh, together with the uh, seismic uh, or the equivalent lateral force and the variable as well as the gravity so here just we need to go to the define menu and here the load combination so now add new load this is the service load okay right before that now we need to go to the define menu and not combination. Okay, sorry, but to define what gains. So now let me add new load cases. So this is so the live load for service. That is linear static and add. Here uh, we need to check into account this one. That is category A, category B.
category category D category E category H And here does not load. The temperature load. The vehicle load with laser thirty kilometer. So now let's uh, put the skill factor. Now this is uh, now let's open it. Now let me go to this one for the load which is greater than thirty kilonewton and uh, less than one hundred. Uh, 60 kilonewton. This is 0 0.3. So this one 0 0.3 times 1, which is 0 0.3. And when we come to the category A, domestic, uh, uh, domestic residential, that is 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.8, 0 0.3 times 0 0.8, which is 0 0.24. We just come to here, the large part, which is the category B or office area, which is similarly 0 0.24. And here for category C, that is congestion area. Now let me come to this one. That is for congestion area, which is 0 0.6, 0 0.6 times 0 0.3, which is 0 0.18. This is service load for seismic. And it for category D, that is for shopping area. For shopping area, that is 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Uh, Times one that is zero point six. Zero point six. And for category E, category E, which is uh, category E, category e for uh, shares that is storage area, which is zero point eight times one, which is zero point eight. For category H, for a roof. Category H for roof, which is zero, zero times one, which is zero. For a snow load, which is zero. For temperature load, which is zero, because zero times one is zero. <coughs> For 
for 0 times 1 is 0 and for vehicle which is less than 30 kilometer I think it is 2 that is 0 0.3 For vehicle which is less than 30 kilometers, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 times 1, which is 0 Okay. Attack or A, B. Okay, C. Let me check category C. Category C, that is 0 0.6. 0 0.6 times 0 0.8, which is 0 0.48. 0 0.48. At a quality which is 0 0.6 shopping area 0 0.6 okay this is uh, you know the live load for seismic so the live load for seismic as we have already previously uh, discussed the reduction factor we have uh, which are going to be Is it the live load for seismic? Now let me define also the live load for service. Add new load case, or just we can copy this one, add copy of this one. And uh, I think this is all. Okay, so now delete this load pattern, delete this load pattern. Let's do this one. The load separation load, overload, water, moving load, water, tank load. Okay. This is the permanent load. This is the permanent load for uh, the serviceability requirements. Okay, so we need to group or we need to. Uh, group or the gravity or the permanent load in one load case so that it will be easy for load combination okay so this is the level for seismic this is the level for service and this is the permanent uh, gravity load and if I, this is the permanent gravity load it is one actually now click mark. So hit the live load for gravity load. Live load for service. So here we need to take it 0 0.3 as it is and this one. So the live load for service is uh, you know uh, this uh, the live load for service that is live load. 
for serviceability for serviceability check which is the livelihood factor this one which is the livelihood factor for serviceability equals to psi 2 sorry this category a which is 0 0.3 And for office building, this is zero point sorry. And for category C congestion area, which is zero point six. And for category D, which is zero point six. Is zero point for a storage area, which is zero point eight for a roof, which is zero and for a snow load, which is zero for temperature load, which is zero for vehicle load, which is zero point six. Now click OK. This is the level for serviceability. Click OK. Okay, here uh, we have already finished the defining of the level for serviceability and the level for seismic composition. Now click OK. Okay, now uh, let me uh, now check. Uh, whether all the permanent load cases are incorporated uh, into the uh, permanent load for the serviceability. Now let me check it once again. Uh, here we have a load, a well load, waterproofing load, a water tanker load, uh, and here. Uh, 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 that is the supporting post of load finish load is not incorporated in this uh, load cases so we need to add a new load case that is supporting post the uh, the supporting post of load finishing load now to see the uh, scale factor is which is one so one two three sorry one two three one two three four five then we need to download one load waterproofing load water tank load superimposed load so we have five here what is left it is this red player load now uh, we have to include the soil pressure load. That is the soil pressure load. So we have six permanent load pattern. So now click OK. So click OK. So this is all the uh, defined load cases regarding to the response vector as well as the variable load. So, uh, I think this is all about the definition of all the necessary load cases. So, in the next tutorial, we will try to see the combination of loads. That is the tutorial part number 13. Okay, for the time being, it is all about for tutorial part 12. So, if you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like also my channel, don't forget to share it it to your friend so that your friends will be getting more updated tutorial regarding to the design of reinforced concrete structure and steel structures and also if you have any questions regarding to the structure design of reinforced concrete structure as well as the design of the steel structure so don't hesitate to write comment this in my commenting box so that i will try to answer as soon as possible
so uh, don't uh, forget also press the bell icon so that you will be receiving an immediate updated uh, tutorials so see you next time with tutorial part number 30 bye bye